Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Brandy Plans. Today we're doing the pre-plan in my main happy planner. This is my 52 weeks of cocoa and fluff. I'm almost, oh, I want to say that I'm like almost 100% sure I'm going to do this again. I have really, really enjoyed using all the cocoa and fluff kits. Um, I have enough planners. As you guys know, I rock four planners and dailies and journaling and goals. So, I have lots of planners to put stickers in and I love this shop so much that I am more than happy to continue on doing a Cocoa and Fluff 52 week planner. And should you want to jump on board with me, by all means, jump on board. The other thing that I was really seriously debating, which I, I'm not going to lie to you, I think I might even do this as well, but I don't want to like pigeonhole me into two 52 weeks. But I kind of want to do 52 weeks of gnomes. And I've been really, really debating it lately. And yeah, so I might even take like a poll here um, and just ask you guys what you think. 52 weeks cocoa and fluff, 52 weeks of gnomes. I love the gnome idea because there's so many amazing gnome kits. But I will say this, I often, I don't hoard my gnome kits. So I don't have a, a big stockpile of them. So I'm going to have to start like, because January's kind of just around the corner. And I know that that sounds silly, but like it is just around the corner. And so I'm going to have to start stocking up on gnome kits basically, if I decide to start doing 52 weeks of gnomes. And I'm not sure if I want to spend that much money because I'm going to have to get a lot of kits. Um, because again, like I said, I use my gnome kits. I don't hoard them. Sorry, I'm going to have a drink. I'm thirsty. I'm currently sitting in my car waiting for my son who's currently in boxing, which he loves, which I'm excited that he loves. Thank goodness. They love it so much that my daughter's even like, oh, I think maybe I should join because she wants to hit stuff. So I'm like, fair enough. Fair enough. Don't we all want to hit stuff? So anyway, let me know what you think. I'm dying to know. Leave a comment down below if I should do 52 weeks of gnomes or if I should do 52 weeks of cocoa and fluff. I don't know. I'm like, I'm torn. I, I can't even tell you. Anyway, I just want to let you know um, that this kit is from... Cocoa and Fluff, obviously. It's the Dark Alchemy Kit. This kit is so stunning. I paired it with some foil from Cocoa and Fluff, ironically. So back in the day, Dawn used to do foil. I don't think she liked doing foil. She she felt that she's a bit of a perfectionist. If you guys know, like her quality control is like top drawer. So she had this de stash of like grab bag foils. And we all know that I am not a perfectionist. <laughs> and that I don't care if there's a little spark, as long as it glitters, it's for me. So I purchased that and got all her extra foil. And this, I used this spider foil um, to match. It's stunning. Like in person, again, as with all things foil, you cannot. Like, I can't do it justice on camera. The bottom... So, these little... Um, like, what I'm using for the head... is actually bottom washi foil overlays that I cut down to header size. And I did the same with the um, webs, the spider web foil. I cut them down and then used... Um, the two different pieces for two different things. So I use the smaller piece for the very top and I use the larger piece for the bottom. And then the bats I cut in very thin strips and I got like four, four strips I would say out of the bottom washi. And I use that all for header overlays. And it turned out amazing. I'm so happy. I don't have any underlays. I don't often put underlays in this one because this planner is really my to go to planner like this is like all our daily activities and everything is what happens in this planner it's the one that sits open on my desk it's the one where I got everything like everything that's going on going on I also want to remind you guys if you are members of the Coco and Fluff Facebook group you should be so the link is down below definitely go become a member me and Sarah of Pinnacle Sticker Co are doing a live plan with me tomorrow night at 6 p.m mountain time 
So definitely go check it out. We giggle a lot. We don't really talk about anything serious. We um, laugh at our lives and we put down stickers. So if that sounds like it's right up your alley, head on over there. We are going live. It's so much fun. We love to hear. Sometimes we're able to respond to you, but sometimes we're not because um, unfortunately... (laughs) the comments are a little it's a little bit of a delay so like by the time we've like said what we and then people respond we don't get it till a little bit later right so anyway I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that that is a thing with the comments when you're doing a live plan with me is there is a titch of a delay um but I love it when people come out I love hearing what you guys have to say um I love talking to you guys. It's one of my favorite activities. I love hanging out with Sarah. I love seeing what she's doing in her planners and what I'm doing in my planners because we definitely, we have similar styles but different styles. She is much more of a daily planner, which I really like. Um, And she, yeah, I just, I really like her style and she's very functional as well, which I love as well. So, and I would say I'm a little more maybe haphazardy kind of um and like um, my planners are very mem like memory keeping too um as well like kind of yeah anyway so it's very interesting I love seeing the way other people do their spreads that's why we all love plan with me's right is that we like to see like what you're up to with stickers and what you're doing I always usually like to put a checklist on every day because I'll often like write my to do's for that day on that list or like if I forget something it's the perfect spot just to add like a little thing that I need to do so I often will like add like little extras that I have to accomplish or or whatever of the day so I often will put one a day down Wednesday I put a giant one just because I'm off on Monday Tuesday and Wednesday this week so I have um like a lot of things that I want to get done one of the most important things that I want to get done is I'm really trying hard to clean up my garage my garage is a disaster like it is it's like the junk room of my house but it's a whole freaking garage how did we as humans make our garages our junk rooms like my husband won't even let me park my car in there I'm like the whole point of the garage was to park a car in it but no I don't even get to park a car in the garage it's almost like it's his giant giant junk room guys it drives me bananas I yeah I have a whole uh, we can unpack that later we might have to go to therapy about it but why does the garage have to be the junk room? I want it to be my freaking garage. Anywho, it needs to be cleaned because there is like a thousand things all over the place, including it's also the dumping ground of where I put all the recycling. So I need to find a better system for our, my recycling because that's not my husband's fault. I just take all the cardboard boxes and stuff and throw it in the garage. Like I don't have a great recycling and same with all the cans because we take the cans back to the recycling right so like like pop cans and that kind of stuff so I need to find a better system yeah you can leave that in the comments down below too if you want to help me with a better way to pack my recycled boxes and stuff because I know I've seen people with like a really good like garbage can system where they like have like one is for like the cans and stuff but I end up with like tons of cans like because we take them back to the bottle depot because you get money back because you pay money when you purchase the can and then you get the money back when you take the can back for recycling um and so I I I put like I get and probably 15 garbage bags full of cans which takes up a lot of space like in my in my garage so maybe I need to like put them outside but then that'll like attract like vermin probably I guess I don't know these so I had this page of little bat washi strips so it it's like a a foiled little washi strip it's from Sadie stickers and I got it in a grab bag and I put it with this foil overlays that I wanted to use they were all kind of bat themed so I kind of grouped all the like little bat themed things I had like 
together. And so this was the perfect spread to add all those little bat accessories to. So I'm just adding the little bat washi strips to the like half boxes and full boxes. And then I'm pulling out um, some more of that bat washi to put as overlays um, for my headers on the sidebar. And then I'm just cutting them to size. That's all I'm doing, guys. Um, if you, I love foil. So if you find multiple ways to use your foil so that it all matches, and the best way to get like foil in on a like a budget, because I know it has become quite a thing, the foil and the overlays and the underlays and the. By the time you've purchased a kit bought the foil to go over the kit, the underlays to go under the kit, the quotes to go on top of the kit, like it just adds up exponentially. So if you're looking for a nice cheap way to get your foil bits, grab bags are perfect, um, like that kind of stuff. And then just find a really good album or something and pair them together. Like even if you think that they don't kind of match, put them in together. And when you pull it out again, you might be like, oh yeah, it does match. So yeah, that's what I do. I definitely go through my foil and then try to pair it up. This um, page is from the Coco and Fluff. This is her hollow color as well. And this was um, part of her um, mysteries, Mickey mysteries, um, when she had her mysteries. And so I just, I they're totally functioning icons, so I like to keep them. And then when I use a foil color, I'll bring them out and use all the ones that relate to what I've got going on that week. Um, so we have tons going on this week. We have like boxing, gymnastics, we have science club, we have air cadets, the kids have Nerf Wars on Fridays, which they love. Um, boxing is our new love in our house, so they're loving that. I work um, Thursday, Friday days so and I'm cleaning that freaking garage at some point hopefully um I spent today having to do tons of errands so I'm literally it is the day the Monday is the current day that I'm doing this voiceover I'm gonna post these videos um but yeah I did a bunch of errands and stuff today I had to finish laundry because my daughter has run out of underwear I have no idea because when I did laundry, I only found four pairs of underwear. So I'm not sure where the secret underwear monster is in my house. Should you happen to find the little fairies that steal underwear, I would like to know and how to catch them because supposedly my daughter is completely under, out of underwear. But when I wash them, I only have four pairs. So I either need to go buy her more underwear or me and her have to literally deconstruct a room to figure out where the underwear fairy is has put all her underwear. So let me know. Let me know if you have any tips and tricks. I was just going to leave out a, a cookie and hopefully the fairies would come and show up and bring me back the underpants. But so far it hasn't really worked out. It's a thing. Anyway, I'm just bringing out my um, lovely, these are Simply Gilded photo albums. And this is where I put all my character stickers and my scripts. And I literally just go through the whole album and anything that was relevant for that week is what I put down. And this is a pre-plan for me. So like it can change during the week. It can definitely change. And I just take pen to paper and I cross it out. I don't put canceled stickers. I don't do anything like that. But I do like to add all my characters. I love to add like extra scripts. If I find uh, an icon that's already foiled, I'll tend to use that. Um, but if not, then I add like my character stickers. The majority of my character stickers, as you guys know, if you've been here any amount of time, are usually Fox and Cactus, Once More with Love, Coco and Fluff, um, Green Gar Jarner Designs, and the Janes from Pinnacle Sticker Co. That tends to be like the majority of where my stuff comes from. Um, if you see a sticker that you're interested about, by all means, just ask me in the comments. I'm more than happy to tell you where it's from. Um, can you guys see how pretty that foil is glaring off that light right now? Like, those spider webs are just, they're epic. I love everything about it. I love this kit. I love it when she does photo kits. I know Dawn's not a huge, like she doesn't do a lot of photo kits, but she's an expert at it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.